Hey, this will be a real quick review of what I've done to set up my Turnigy 9X R um, transmitter for my APM 2.5, which uh, wants a six position um, switch. And I'm using the combination of these two switches three position and two position to get the six position. And I'll show you how I did that. So, um, First, you might notice that the um, I just named my model Mothership, but in any case, um, I guess here we can see uh, switching second position, third position, and then I switch here, fourth position, fifth position, and sixth position. I'm back at the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're dancing. Okay, so how I did that was um, first of all, I set up these switches switch one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, and uh, just set it up just like so. So you can figure out how to do that. Um, and Oops, nope. So then in my mixer on channel 5, I just uh, added these mixes. So on channel 5, at negative 100%, switch, switch 1, negative 20 is switch 2, negative 7, switch 3, 7 is switch 4, 20% is switch 5. 100% switch 6 and that set it up to hit those PWM um, inputs on the APM 2.5 just in the right range to trigger those six modes so I'll go into some of these and show you that's not how show you uh, what this mix looks like so source is full there's that negative 100 and that's on switch 1 switch 1 there's the rest of that menu, so go back. Um, switch to ah. so negative twenty, and that's on switch two. And that's it. Um, I've also got um, on channel seven is the head tracker. I guess I can go over that real fast. So. The head tracker is on my Fat Sharks, and that's channel 8 on PPM. That's just going into the trainer port in the back of the tourniquet. Um, this is my solution for flight modes. Anyway, um, put the head tracker in, and that comes in over channel 8 PPM. And I have a throttle curve set up for that. Um, and that's curve one. I guess I'll go in there and show you curve one too. Um, and I don't always have the head head tracker. I'm not always using the goggles, but if I want to control the it using the knob, the gimbal on the GoPro, then I added this mix into channel seven as well, which is P3, which is this one, and it just adds two the PPM8 input. So if there is no input then this just turns into the um, camera position. Anyway, um, and that's it. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm just messing around, I guess. Um, so channel 7 is for head tracking, channel 5 is for the 6 position, and I guess I had a throttle curve in there, or a curve set up, so I'll show you that too. Curve. That one just looks like that. And that's it. Um, if you want any more detail, um, let me know and I'll show you. Or at least comment with more detail. Thank you.